Now, there is no doubt about it that by far the most anticipated Star Wars TV show of 2023 is indeed the Ahsoka Tano TV show starring actress Rosario Dawson and others coming into play here with characters like Thrawn, Ezra Bridger, Sabine Wren, Harrison Dula, and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is great greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the Disney Star Wars universe is that there are a lot of changes happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm to really regulate the franchise and to really bring things back into motion here for exactly what's happening with Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas and their path to really reviving Star Wars Legends and really bringing back the vision of George Lucas, going back to the bare bones of Star Wars and really adding layers on top of that, right? So that's their big plan now, is that they really want to take a lot of highlights from Legends, as we discussed a couple of days ago, from Dark Empire, Shadows of the Empire, the Thrawn Trilogy, I mean, the New Jedi Order books, so much is being poured in to shows like Ahsoka, Mando 3 and 4, and a whole lot more as well. Now, with that being said, a lot of changes have been happening recently because of Favreau and the Disney executives, and thankfully the Disney executives did something incredible for Jon Favreau over at Lucasfilm and how it involves a lot of change that's about to happen for Lucasfilm and exactly how Star Wars is going to be handled and respected moving forward with this new Star Wars universe, of course. Now, of course, we already know that Favreau is a very passionate guy, a very passionate worker when it comes to developing these new Star Wars TV shows and a whole lot more. And that brings us to this discussion today. Now, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now focused on their new Star Wars TV shows and movies, creators Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have recently been making drastic changes behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm in order to give fans an enhanced experience for the Star Wars franchise. Now, it's described, however, that just recently Jon Favreau was given another big promotion over at Lucasfilm in order to take over more segments of Lucasfilm in a way that is going to actually transform the company while also not acting as president like Kathleen Kennedy currently is that Disney is working on for a replacement on that soon. Jon Favreau is described to now have full creative control over all the new lore coming into the Star Wars franchise, even more so than a couple of weeks ago, that he is not writing and or directing, and that he also has more creative control over the High Republic era of Star Wars, and recently cancelled a series of books that were in the pipeline that were going to be made into Star Wars TV shows by Kathleen Kennedy for the High Republic, that were still in the roadmap that have now been officially cancelled. Favreau also has more power over hiring what actors and endor actresses will be cast in the upcoming Star Wars TV shows. Favreau recently ordered the creatives to stop all High Republic books and comics past 2025, and that they will be focusing on the Old Republic content instead of that. Additionally, Favreau now also has more control over the marketing of all the Star Wars TV shows that not just he is working on, but also shows that are not being made by him, either writing or directing and producing. From this point forward, except for Skeleton Crew and parts of the Acolyte series, everything is being handled by Favreau, in a sense. As of now, Favreau has very close power to, of course, that of Kathleen Kennedy while not holding the title of president. Favreau, as of right now, also is described to also be involved with taking the Acolyte in a brand new direction from many of the new episodes while working alongside George Lucas for the series. Now, initially, Favreau had no control over shows that he was not writing and or directing, to which now he does, and that he is described to have creative power over and or season two now as well, that is going to conclude that series and going to begin filming by this fall if they stay on schedule. So I've said this before in the past, and before I get on to the more exciting stuff about all of this, is that when I look at the Endor series, all right, I think that this is going to be a very divisive show. And I pointed out why it's going to be very divisive. It's going to be very different. This is a rough take on Star Wars by Tony Gilroy. Uh, he himself even said that it's not essentially going to be like Rogue One. It's going to be its own thing. It's going to be something completely different based on real world events. And, well, that's where things get a little bit controversial. So, Jon Favreau stepping in 
for Andor Season 2 and taking it in a more fun and inspiring direction, I think, is what was really needed. And that's exactly what Favreau is doing. By the way, Andor ends with Season 2. They are no longer going to be making a Season 3. They want to stop it at 24 episodes, 12 episodes per season. And it's only going to be two seasons. So if we don't like it, we don't like it. That's fine. We'll have only two seasons of the show to really deal with if it ends up being that bad. But so far, I think that Andor is looking, you know, pretty decent, you know, from the footage that I have seen. But story-wise, it's going to be a little bit divisive. I'm pretty sure of that. But moving on from all of this... Alright, so Favreau, however, wants to insert many cameos into the second season of Andor, as opposed to what is happening with season one that's going to be absent. In order to boost excitement for the show, as Favreau feels very underwhelmed about the Andor series being too realistic for Star Wars, and holding too many real-world aspects that he fears will make the show flat and boring. With Favreau now holding power over Andor Season 2, it's likely that the new season will be more involved than its first. Now, Filoni, surprisingly, also got a big promotion as well, however, not as big as Favreau's. Favreau, as of now, is nearly acting as president of Lucasfilm without the title attached to him, and that he is making sure that Star Wars is going to have a big turnaround starting in 2023, and also revising the Book of Boba Fett Season 2 to be more attractive to the Star Wars fandom. Favreau also is going to make an announcement about his plans by this fall. So, here's the deal about this, is that this really is going to turn the company in a new direction if handled correctly. This is exactly what was needed so very long ago, and I'm just glad that Disney executives are finally coming to their senses. Now, before I get to the next thing real quick, I just want to point out that Favreau said this before in the past, that he is not doing this for work, it's not for paychecks, it's not for just for the sake of making Star Wars because he is a producer, director, and writer. Favreau literally loves what he does. It's a passion for him, and to him, it's not work. And that's exactly why I believe Mando Season 1 and 2, as well as what we have seen with Season 3, it just looks so in line with Star Wars, as well as the Ahsoka Tano series by Dave Filoni. He too is on the same level, very passionate guy, you know, both a passionate fan and a passionate creator. And I think that's exactly what's been needed for so very long. And the fact that they got big promotions over at Lucasfilm, again, thanks to Disney, this really does, you know, put them in more favor than they were before, where Kathleen Kennedy had more power over the marketing of the shows too. And that's another thing to really keep in mind here, is that now Favreau and Filoni have power over marketing for all of the Star Wars TV shows, even the ones that are being made by Kathleen Kennedy, such as The Acolyte. So that's being turned around in a direction as well. It's still unclear as to what's happening with Skeleton Crew when it comes to John and Dave's creative power over that. That doesn't really seem to be, but... So far, so good. I think that things are really beginning to turn around, and I think that Favreau and Filoni are really going to surprise fans in 2023, and especially, by the way, uh, this fall, I think everybody should check out Tales of the Jedi, because this is very well going to be probably the best animated show. Anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.